L'chaim, I'm Susie homemaker, and this is Minding Your Business. Today I'm in beautiful Hollywood, California, where it's so beautiful, it makes me a little uncomfortable. I am sitting here with a man who has a fabulous, interesting life. His name rhymes with the duck. Which is exciting. Mr. Duck, you have been quoted to have said, I will never wear a stars and stripes speed up. Yet, here you are. I eat a lot of crow in my life, and this is just another example of me eating crow. And what is your reaction to the news that people dressed up as superheroes wearing stars and stripes speedos are actually getting into fights in front of the Chinese theater on Hollywood Boulevard? I was completely and utterly flabbergasted that this happened. Culture question. How do you feel about Matt Smith leaving Doctor Who? My initial reaction was flabbergasted. What do you say to people who don't eat gluten? It's, it's us against them. Duck, when you are stuck in an elevator and someone has terrible gas, what would you call it? Uh, uh, what's, what's the word? Um, I know you know this. Oh, <clears throat> flabbergasted. That would be exactly correct. So, Tuck, can you show me the polite way to pick your nose in public? Tell me, what if we were in the woods and we were attacked suddenly by a giant bear? I happen to be wearing the stars and stripes speedo as we speak. So if any opportunity comes up, I'm ready to don the stars and stripes speedo. You, sir, have some chutzpah. So, Duck, how would you feel about having a little cocktail with me later on this evening? That's... that's... not where we shine, I think. You and me, rolling around, naked in the grass together, like Natalie Wood and Warren Beatty? Or something along those lines. What if I blindfolded you and covered you in ice cream, chocolate sauce, and little sprinkles? Well, you know what? If that's in the works, I think it's probably a, a, a great idea. What would you like to tell the wild? about passing up the opportunity to make love to a sumptuous, much older woman. Well, history has proved uh, many times that Tuck Watkins, once again, was wrong. And when a man can admit that, I'm butter. Thank you, Duck, for being such a mensch. <clears throat> I'm Susie, <coughs> homemaker, and this has been Minding Your Business with Susie, <coughs> homemaker. To you, duck, may we be alive at the same time next year. Here's to the old days. May they never come again. May your mother forgive you and your father live forever. Cheers. L'chaim. <laughs>